it is Monday the 14th. It is also Ethan's first day back at school, so I just threw the charge. Just got back from dropping Brian off at work. We are a one car household, so sometimes that can get crazy. Um, I took out the trash, and y'all, I just about had a flipping heart attack because as soon as I get like, you guys saw how my backyard is set up, like, um, there's like that long walkway before you get to like the actual backyard, and so. <laughs> As soon as I pass that corner to get into the actual backyard, like I feel like something like attack the fence. <sighs> so I stopped and I grabbed my phone and I turned the flashlight on on my phone. And it was just some cats getting scared because I was in the backyard. They were jumping back over my fence. Y'all. Whew. Dang near pepper sprayed some cats, y'all. And I started throwing trash through the backyard because... Your girl has a fear, like a, like a big, big fear. <laughs> Not fear. I would just say I'm very, very cautious to avoid getting kidnapped and sex trafficked. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna first. I'm gonna go use the bathroom and brush my teeth. Um, I need to put a trash bag. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna put a trash bag in here. Gotta find. Gotta go to the bathroom, brush my teeth, and then. I need to vacuum our living room and then I'm gonna get Ethan up and move him to the guest room so that way whenever it's time for him to actually get up he's not waking up his brothers I've always done that since he started school is I'll wake him up at about six I'll wake him up a little bit after six and move him to the guest room so that way his brothers are still sleeping and they don't wake up I have to get him up so yeah um yeah, so I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> still um so i did my routine that i told you guys that i was going to do i still need to vacuum i didn't vacuum because i was too scared to wake up the boys because that's something that i used to do last school year that they were used to so they would sleep through me vacuuming the living room but they're no longer used to me making a whole bunch of noise early in the morning so i was like okay i'll vacuum after they get up so i'm about to go vacuum right now i uh dropped ethan off at school at 7 50 so he would have time to eat breakfast that the school gives him and then oh, that's one thing I'm grateful for is that we're not going to be running through breakfast like crazy anymore because Ethan can now eat breakfast at school. And he's the one who's like, Mom, I want three pieces of French toast. I want three waffles. I want three pancakes. I'm like, oh, my goodness, boy. So that, that'll be a blessing for us that he's back in school so he can eat breakfast at school. The way his school is doing it is there's a carpool and then they have three different entrances depending on the grade level. So Ethan's pre-K through first grade, I drop him off there. They te they check his temp and then they take him inside. And he did actually really good with that. Like I wasn't expecting him to be good, but as soon as we pulled up, he opened the door. He's like, bye mom. And I'm like, Ethan, you, <laughs> like, Ethan, you gotta wait. You gotta wait for the teacher to come check your temperature. <laughs> but it was so funny. So yeah, I got home like right at eight because I went to drop off some food to my dad some breakfast for my dad or not breakfast I went to leave him some lunch and dinner because some leftovers that we had here and they were just piling up but they're just from last week so it, it was a couple of the soups and if you know soups just get better the longer you let them marinate so he's gonna have some delicious soups for lunch and dinner today and um then I came home the boys woke up like the boys have been up so yeah but I edited a video. It only took me an hour. Like, guys, it has not only taken me one hour to edit a video in so long. Like, it feels so good to get a video edited within one hour. And I'm telling you, you guys, like, it was taking me an hour to edit my eight-minute grocery hauls because, like, the boys were just in and out. I was having to find the receipts. I was trying, having to insert the prices and... Oh, I was having to get up and down because of Ethan's school. So 
I sat here for an hour. I edited my Jesus chats. Those have um, always taken me an hour until Ethan started doing school at home. They started taking me longer than an hour. But my Jesus chats take an hour because I still like to reference in case there's anything that I left out of my video. I'll go back. I'll reread the scripture that I went over. I'll reread my notes. I'll make sure I touched every base in the notes. Because sometimes if you pay attention to my Jesus chats while I'm talking, I won't do the big flash of a scripture on the page. But like if I want you guys to like reference another scripture, I'll put it like down at the bottom in a title. But yeah, I'm about to get these little two crazy babies some uh, breakfast. What do you want for breakfast? and I ended up eating at the Mala and some Doritos. So it was like early lunch, late breakfast, but that's what I ate um, for dinner. I'm gonna cook enchiladas and... <laughs> yeah, so for dinner I'm gonna cook enchiladas. Uh, tomorrow I'm probably gonna make shrimp boil, so it'll probably be the recipe that I show you guys and I still forgot an ingredient for the shrimp boil, but that's okay. I can always come back now that I keep the car every day. So, yeah. Um, other than that, I'm headed to pick up Ethan now. I had to come to Market Street as soon as I woke up. Because I woke up right before 2 o'clock. And I don't... And so that way Brian could bring the bags inside for me. I just went before I picked him and Ethan up. How to come way earlier than I came today. Because this is the carpool line. Mind you, like, you are not allowed... by those flag poles is where I'm supposed to pick up Ethan and you are not allowed to get out of your car to get your kids so I mean I've seen parents do it but I'm sure that's so frustrating after 
they specifically said do not get out your car so i don't know it's so annoying so <laughs> yeah i'm gonna have to start coming like right at two because it's already 255 and this line hasn't moved at all and they said that dismissals would start at 250 lies so yeah have you guys seen that r kelly interview where he does that they're like interviewing him and he's like lies lies <laughs> so brian and i do that all the time whenever we're joking around with each other we'll be like lies <laughs> oh we're such a progress flagpole is where i gotta get them this is where i'm at y'all look at this line like it is ridiculous it goes all the way back to the main street where that building is like all the way back to that main street this is crazy i will definitely be showing up at two from now on <laughs> learn my lesson all right y'all excuse all the noise the men are wrestling but this is what i picked up at market street some chips for ethan's lunches i want to make some shrimp cocktails so i picked up this shrimp or not shrimp cocktail i want to make some shrimp boils packet foil packets and so i picked up some corn dogs because the boys are out this sausage goes in the shrimp boil packet i just like this sausage it's good if you cook it and like add it to ramen and then bryson added these chips to the basket so yeah got another sausage I want to make double what I usually make, so I loaded up on this. I'm going to see if there's a crock pot recipe, though, so I don't have to use all that foil. And then this is the original reason I went, was for some plain oat milk, some vanilla oat milk, and then Simply Peach, Simply Fruit Punch, and then just apple juice. And then we did, I did pick up this because I have not been able to find Old Bay seasoning for a while. And then corn for my shrimp boil packets, and I forgot potatoes and parsley, so. I don't think y'all understand how much I love organizing the fridge. I love you, Mama. I don't think y'all get it. Mama, are you talking to us? All right, good morning, guys. Today is Tuesday, so it's laundry day. I'm whispering because it's only 6.13 in the morning, and I just moved Ethan to the guest room, and then I picked out his clothes because, well, not like I gotta do much picking out. He wears a uniform, but um, I forgot to put his clothes in here last night. And I don't like going into their closet when they're sleeping because one of the doors is broken and it makes so much noise. But I'm about to fix my bed and then I'm gonna get myself dressed and I need to sort out the laundry. So let's see if I can do that within 10 minutes because I want to sit down and read and then I want to do my stretching before I take Ethan to school. So see if I can get that done.
right guys so it took me an hour just about it's 705 at 705 so it took me just about an hour to do everything ow, i needed to do so looks like i'm not gonna get to stretch but that's okay um i'm gonna do my reading and then yeah i'm gonna wait to wake up ethan if I, i'm not gonna have time to do my stretching i'm gonna wake up ethan at about 7 30 and then we will get him dressed and ready to go and we will take him to school so yeah, I'll see you guys later. I'm sure when the last time was that I talked to you guys. I'm pretty sure it was whenever I dropped Ethan off at school. But now, we are here. I'm the first in line, and it is like 1.40. Like, I was playing no game, so we're going to be waiting for an hour. But that's all right. That is okay. I'd rather wait for an hour and be gone as soon as he comes out than get here and wait for 30 minutes. And then I still got to wait from just to get in the gate and then wait even longer. So here I am just waiting for Ethan. Grayson, what's your problem? We moved King. We moved King all the way to the back and he's already asleep. Say hi, Bryson. Say hi. What's wrong? Go to sleep like King. But yeah, so we're here waiting. I will see you guys later to make some shrimp, shrimp boil foil packs, or if I find another um, crock pot recipe that'll be ready within four hours. So yeah, see you guys in a bit. All right, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and prep dinner. Um, before we go to the gym, I'm going to try to do this as fast as I can because I really want to get to the gym at 4. So hopefully I can get this done within the next 20 minutes. Um, I'm making shrimp foil packs. So I want to try to make at least 10. So I'm going to go ahead and tear the foil. And then I will show you guys all of what seasonings that you guys need. All right, you guys. So I only use heavy duty foil. So I'm going to tear a couple of sheets of that. All right guys, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut all of these little baby red potatoes in half. Okay, so I might need some more potatoes and that's okay because I did buy three bags. So I'm actually gonna cut these in fourths because I only have four lemons. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop up the parsley before I cut the sausage, but. I didn't even tell you guys what you will need. Um, red potatoes, lemons, Cajun style andouille sausage, and corn on the cob. Butter and some kind of seafood seasoning is what you will need. sausage that I buy I got two packs because I like a lot of sausage in mine but to each their own just buy whatever you think you'll need all right and now we're just gonna go ahead and start slicing up the sausage okay and I have two separate bowls so in the silver bowl I'm going to be putting the shrimp and the sausage because I like to season it separately just to make sure that everything gets a nice even coating of seasoning Okay, so I'm going to add the potatoes and the corn to this big pink bowl. All right, you guys, so these are the seasonings I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use a little bit of this Creole seasoning. 
very little because it can be too spicy for the boys on top of the sausage. I need some garlic powder, black pepper, pink Himalayan salt, onion powder. Um, I grabbed this seafood seasoning because they were out of the Old Bay, but I mean, I guess we'll see. And then obviously lemons. So lemons, parsley, and butter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start seasoning all of this. And I did change my gloves because I was touching the shrimp. <laughs> you guys so whenever you're making your foil pack make sure you have it with the shiny side up not the matte but the shiny the super reflective side that's just going to help reflect the heat and help it cook more thoroughly and faster you have them all packed and ready to go stick them in the oven 425 for 30 for 30 minutes and you will be good to go i'm gonna clean up these dishes then we're gonna head out to the gym your packets came out like and i actually had to do it at 425 for 40 minutes for the potatoes to cook all the way through so if you dice your potatoes up smaller i'm sure you could get it done in 30 minutes but this is what it came out like i gave one of my corns to king but yeah after this, we are calling it a night, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hey guys, so I just wanted to take a minute and catch you guys up on some stuff. So Wednesdays are my rest days, so that means no work, no editing, no filming, no cleaning, and no gym. That's what I've been doing on Wednesdays, just to give myself a peace of mind and to not make myself feel like I have to share everything. And um, yeah, all I can say is like, if you're a faithful follower of God, please pray for me. And I say it that way because at a certain point in life and depending on the way you live your life, um, your prayers could not be heard, by, be heard by God. So if you're a faithful believer and follower of God, please, please, please pray for me. If not, it wouldn't really matter. Um, but yeah just just pray for strength wisdom guidance that's all i really need and so today um got up took ethan to school we went bryson king and i went and had breakfast at the park i let them play at the park um if you're ever like wondering like the gaps in my vlogs follow me on instagram because you kind of you can kind of see more of my day there even then even more than in a vlog and it's real time so yeah um and also what else was i gonna say oh and then we went to target and then we went to costco then we came home i unloaded the car of all the groceries and then ethan got sent home from school now i just finished filming a costco haul and now i gotta put up all this stuff so i mean if you guys want to watch you can watch if not skip over this but yeah, I'm about to put up all these groceries and I just tasted that rotisserie chicken from Costco and oh my lanta it is so good so yeah I'm excited for dinner don't know what I'm gonna make with it yet maybe some mashed potatoes or some roasted red potatoes because I have red potatoes so maybe some roasted red potatoes and salad that sounds good right and healthy salad and roasted red potatoes sounds like a plan Stan so yeah Let's go ahead and get this cleaned up, or put away.
back to you guys. So I'm done putting stuff up, but I wanted to show you guys a little hack. So if you can't afford like the fancy containers that everybody's getting, what Brian and I have done for the boys snacks is we just cut holes in the boxes and then you can just pull them out without having to dump them all out and then you're not having to open and close the box. You could just pull one out as you need. But yeah, you guys, I'm about to buy me something for lunch. I don't know what I'm going to eat for lunch. I might order me something. The boys are eating their Lunchables. But yeah, I'm about to find me something for lunch after I take all this trash out. Cause your girl had some stuff to throw out of the fridge. And the trash is to be taken out like yesterday. So yeah, I'm going to take trash out and then uh eat something good morning um sorry <laughs> guys i'm gonna keep apologizing this vlog because i have not been on my game yes baby i'll get him in a minute okay so i told you guys yesterday ethan got sent home from school for his cough so brian and i just decided to keep him home today and then he doesn't have school on monday due to parent teacher conferences so he's home today he'll be home monday and we're just gonna kind of give this cough time to settle with ethan he's very much like me because when i was growing up i used to get fever i would throw up like it would look like i was sick and dying but it was just my allergies so right now ethan has the symptoms of asthma so he has a really nasty cough constantly sniffling and like can't catch his breath like he can catch his breath but it's like he's breathing hard because his allergies are just kicking his butt. So I gave him Benadryl before bed last night. I probably won't give him Benadryl until around nap time just because I know it's gonna make him sleepy anyways. So, um, but anyways, last night for dinner with the rotisserie chicken, I just made uh, macaroni and cheese, well, shells and cheese and uh, corn and brown gravy for the chicken and it was so good y'all like we killed that like me the boys and brian like we killed that entire chicken last night so and all the sides like we didn't have any leftovers for the first time in a long time so that was good um after that after we ate dinner i kind of just got up and Clean the house, did my nighttime cleaning routine. If you haven't checked that out, I'll link it up right here, right now. But, um. time and my sissy say hey Hi. <laughs> um but and and also i didn't want y'all to see me struggle painting my nails because i was about to die bending over like that but now i'm about to paint my fingernails and now y'all can watch me i already clipped them and y'all i cleaned out my little i cleaned out my little <laughs> nail polish thing and then i went through all the colors and me and my sister were talking about how you can have like a bunch of shades of the same colors, but they don't look the same, really, up close to each other. Go potty. Now I'm just listening to this song. It may be a September favorite. It may be a different song. That's my September favorite song. It may be both songs. Who knows? But it's a good song. I'll link it down below. So I'm going to listen to this, do some reading while my nails dry, and then I'm going to do some editing, and then hopefully by then it'll be lunchtime. So yeah, I'm trying to get this video up though before 11, so I'm going to read just until 9.30. So I have 15 minutes to read so much stuff, so see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, so we're at the gym today. I'm about to try to do my mile, um, but yeah, I'm about to get this workout in. We're doing it light, full body today, and then... Yeah, because it's Saturday. 
and I miss Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So yeah, I'm about to go ahead and get this workout in. After we got back from the gym, we went to GNC, picked up some things we needed, then we came home. I did my mommy and wifely duties, and then I filmed because we have couples fellowship night. So, um, yeah, I won't film there though, just because they're my church family and I don't know how comfortable they are with their faces being plastered on the internet. And now that I am growing, I have to be more careful with that. Should have been careful from the get go. I don't want to seem like I was just reckless and careless, but yeah, but now I'm going to meet up with my friend Karina. She is okay with with being vlogged, so maybe you guys will finally meet my best friend. I did my, I filmed my Q&A Get Ready With Me, so if that's up already, it'll be linked down below. If it's not, you'll see it soon. So yeah, head in to go do a little bit of girl time with my bestie. See you guys in a bit. All right guys, so we are here at the thrift store. What's so funny is that Brian and I used to live right on the next block and this was not here two years ago. So yeah, we are here at the thrift store. We are gonna go in here. Maybe you'll get a thrifting haul here soon. Who knows? So we went to this place and they call it the pound store, but it's like a Goodwill and you just go in there and you like dig through stuff and you pay for everything by the, found, by the pound. Like you can buy couches like ten dollars per pound i think it was and everything so yeah now we're headed to hobby lobby so let's get there busy inside so I just wasn't comfortable filming um we want to do this craft so we're trying to pick up stamps because we're going to bleach shirts with stamps but last time we were only able to find the shirts and not the stamps and so we we're like okay let's wait till we can go to Hobby Lobby went to Hobby Lobby all we could find was stamps and not shirts so yeah we're going to vlog us making the shirts though so that'll be exciting so, but, um, Brian and I have couples fellowship tonight for our church so I volunteered to bring sweet tea and unsweet tea and as dessert so I'm here at my favorite dessert place Market Streets so I'm gonna go in here and grab those and then head to the his house and wait for the sitter to show up and wait for Brian to get ready so we can heady out heady head out heady out head out roll out have you, do y'all ever watch have y'all ever seen do y'all watch Transformers? Because my favorite line is when Optimus Prime says, Autobots, roll out. And I'm like, okay, thug, thug, like just, okay. I felt that, let's roll out. <laughs> I'm a loser, but yeah. Ah, oh, I should have told y'all that in my chit chat, get ready with me Q&A, but my favorite movies are actually Transformers, the whole series, I love them. Love Transformers. All right, I'm gonna go in the store now. People probably think I'm weird just sitting here recording. All right, guys, so we just got back from couples night. It was so much fun. I love the games that we play over there, but I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night just before I forget to end this vlog. So I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.